Hi there. In my last video, I talked about the repeat on success option. If you've not seen that, I suggest you go off and uh, quickly look over that first of all before viewing this video. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but the repeat on success option allows you to repeat a trade whenever it gets matched and completed. Uh, it will fire in again depending on how many or whatever the setting is here. It will keep doing that every time that trade is completed it will fire in again until such times as either you manually cancel the process or the um, the count runs out and it finishes its loop. Now that repeat on success option is only available for th this particular type of bet placement where Fairbot will automatically place an offset bet to close off your trade uh, set at whatever offset you specify in this box here. So we saw an example of that yesterday. You can also put that into an automated strategy. The point of this video, however, is to show you how you could simulate that process for other types of trading or betting that you wish to do. Uh, as I said, this setting here only applies to that type of trading as you specify here. So to do that, I've already set up an initial strategy, which I've called automatic repeat. So what we're go going to do is place a bet in running on the current favorite. And that bet's going to get placed 10 seconds after the race goes in play. But what if you wanted to repeat that process at later stages in the race? Well, if you look at this particular rule, there isn't an option within the place a bet action that allows you to do a repeat on success. So we have to simulate that somehow. So what we can do is to make use of the execution count option. And this execution count option essentially tells this rule to fire one after the other after a particular amount of time has elapsed. Uh, so for example, by default, it always uh, says one uh, so imagine that we wanted to place a bet as the race progresses every 20 seconds uh, and we wanted to do that four times. It will place a bet on the current favourite even if that current favourite is a different runner from the current favourite that had already been bet on as the race progresses. So for example if we uh, set that to 4 and change that to 20 say what will happen is this bet will fire 10 seconds into the race after the race goes in play. It will then count down 20 seconds and it will then fire again. And then another 20 seconds and fire again and so on. I haven't done anything else. I haven't specified any conditions to this particular bet. This is a demonstration. I, this in all likelihood will fail miserably in terms of a strategy but for the purposes of demonstration uh, it's a simple strategy to use. Okay so it's very easy to set up just make sure that you have the execution count going on here. So we'll save that and then in addition to that I've got a green up all option which will trigger irrespective of what's happening in the market it will trigger when there's only 25% of the race remaining. So it will green up in the green or in the red. It will trade out. And that's it. So we can save that. And we'll uh, assign it to this particular race. But there's a good 40 odd minutes to go. So uh, obviously I shall uh, skip ahead and let you see what happens. Okay, we're off and running, so we should see a bet being submitted very shortly. Once this gets to 10 seconds, that's it, and it goes there. So in another 20 seconds, so when this gets to about 30, we should see 
the second bet going in and there it goes and it was on due you believe as well if we switch back to the automation tab you'll see that that's been executed twice out of four it will uh, shortly change to three out of four and there you see we've actually got the third one actually went on into a different runner and we're coming up to the 25th so that's the green up process of being actioned still waiting to trade out on due you believe but because the odds have changed so much the green up process hasn't fully committed uh, completed uh, and as a result we, we wound up with a slight loss there but there you can see the four bets that went in two on do you believe and two on alexisoft and if we switch back to here you'll see it's been executed four times out of four and the green up process was triggered once the time got to 20 or 25 percent left of the race okay and what you can do, um, you'll see that uh, we've got multiple bets on a couple of different runners. If you didn't want that to happen, you could perhaps go into here and change that and put in a condition that said that uh, to check whether the bet had actually been placed. Um, so you could go in and check to see if the selection, where are we? Number of bets I'm looking for. There we are. Bets in progress. Selection bet count, that's the thing I'm looking for. Or the market bet count. You can change and you can then specify whether um, there's been any unmatched bets, matched, fully matched bets or pending offset bets irrespective of what it is you can check to see if that still exists and if it still exists don't actually do the bet anyway that's an example of using the execute option keep in mind that you can have a number of rules in any one particular strategy they can all have different execute settings uh, and can be executed any number of times and they can all be different Anyway, I hope that's of use to you. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.